My name is Tracy Simon. I'm a molecular biologist. I work for the Zoological Health Program for the Wildlife Conservation Society. And in here where I'm sitting is the molecular lab. We're operating um, in multiple programs in over 65 countries. With our laboratory, we've worked on various continents. Um, we've traveled with our mobile lab to places like Rwanda, Uganda. Um, we've taken it to the Russia Far East, um, as well as Peru. So we're going to be heading to Myanmar uh, for two weeks in September. There we're going to be bringing our mobile laboratory, which you see here, and we'll be performing disease testing in endangered Burmese star tortoises. And these are tortoises that have been bred in captivity and they're going to be released back into the wild. We're going to be going there to ensure that what we're releasing are healthy populations. It's, it's taken a few trips to learn sort of the art of packing a mobile lab and so what I've been doing is basically taking notes each time and, and learning from previous trips. In order to do the, the genetic testing, many of our supplies and reagents need to be kept frozen. And so in order to keep our supplies frozen, what we do is we bring a portable freezer and it travels with, with us um, wherever we go in Myanmar. And we place our samples here and what this machine does is it basically makes lots and lots of copies of the gene that we're amplifying from the pathogen that we're testing for. So in Burma, it's going to be monsoon season. So it's gonna be very wet and it's gonna be very hot and muggy. This I wear when there's a torrential downpour and I need to get from one place to another. And with that brings a lot of insects. In my bag, I'm going to be packing things like uh, a travel bed net, as well as things that'll protect me from mosquitoes, such as bug spray. And these are very light pants. They dry very quickly. They also have uh, insect blocker embedded within them. I bring with me 30% DEET. There are a number of tropical diseases there. We have to worry about malaria. Jap um, we have to worry about Japanese encephalitis. Um, and also things like typhoid and, and other diseases. I never go anywhere without my camera. I take my camera into the field and I photo document both the, the lab component and also document results and then also document the work that's going on that we're performing in the field with collection of samples. I like to be able to take what I have within the lab here and travel with it and be able to set up and recreate what I have here. And, um, and that part's really exciting and that I can actually take my lab and bring it to a country to perform in-country testing and get the results right away.